Dr. Bataille, uh, we hear a lot at the moment about research on gut microbiome. Is this something which will uh, at some point help with skin complaints? So yeah, so gut microbiome is interesting. It is being researched in every skin disease. So there are gut microbiome research in eczema, in acne, in psoriasis. However, interestingly, the, f the first area where it is hitting clinical practice already is in the skin cancer world. And you would not expect that it would have been the first one to be uh, relevant uh, you know, in terms of changing our practice. But um, researcher in Paris discovered that if you do not have a very diversified gut microbiome, with lots of different bacteria, um, your response to treatment for melanoma, uh, of course we're talking here about advanced melanoma where they need more systemic immunotherapy and boost your immune system against the tumour, the patient doesn't respond. So they suddenly understood that the interaction between your gut microbiome boosting your immune response and the immune therapy was crucial. So at the moment uh, in clinical practice we already uh, in many clinics around the world collecting a poo sample from our melanoma patient, which many people are unaware of, but in the acne, psoriasis and eczema world, it's done in a research basis and uh, the data should be published fairly soon. In terms of the type of disease, I would think the first one to have an impact, probably psoriasis and eczema first, because from what we know about these two diseases, they are highly uh, influenced by immuno, uh, immunological factor. So to me, if there was a strong input of the immune system, and the bowel is a massive immune system, uh, I would think that psoriasis at eczema would be the first to show something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you think that in the long term that would have implications in yeah. terms of the long-term management yeah. of those uh, chronic conditions? Yeah, and I think what probably we will discover will be that, you know, every time you look at research in many diseases with a gut microbiome, it's always coming back diversity, always mm -hmm. lots of different bacteria. How do you acquire lots of different bacteria is by feeding your gut with lots of different food and lots of fibers. Uh, if you look at unhealthy food, which is extremely fast processed into the gut, by the time it gets to your large bowel, there's nothing left because it's fast processed food. So your bacteria in your bowel are very unhappy. They diminish in number, in type, and it's what we call a low diversity gut microbiome. But if you eat lots of stuff like vegetable, nuts, all sorts, lentils, pulse, um, then your diversity in your microbiome goes up and uh, it is associated with health in general. So probably the message will be that it will be in the same vein to say diversify your food. Mm -hmm. And that could have other repercussions, positive repercussions yeah. on, on many your other health things in, yeah. in general. And Not just other, skin disease. Yes. Yeah. Other, other cancers? Yeah, or? possible. I mean, the cancer world in terms of risk is still a bit early days. Mm -hmm. So what's been discovered is that response to treatment is affected by gut microbiome. At the moment, there's not enough data saying that if you have a poor microbiome in your gut, you will have more risk of cancer. That's not been shown, but you know, all these studies are ongoing. Mm -hmm. And timeline, would you would, I think you the expect? holy grail for all many company in the, in the whole world is to find these um, special drinks uh, with added bacteria, healthy bacteria, of mm -hmm. course, uh, which could you know, replenish your microbiome is what's missing. Uh, at the moment, the best way to achieve that, let's go natural, and is to use natural food, which provide all this diversity without having to buy extra supplement. Mm -hmm. But in a specific disease environment, they might have some specific drink, which mm -hmm. will be recommended for specific diseases. But I think we're quite a few years away from that. Dr. Bataille, thank, thank you, you very much.